going guys, Dave Schmitz, resistancebandtraining.com. Coming to you from the band gym today, and I want to show you how to train your abs correctly. The abs are a stabilizer and a decelerator of movement. You want to go ahead and you want to train them to be that. Let me show you what I mean. The band is a variable resistance, so as a result of that, we can use that variable resistance to our advantage. We want to make it a decelerator. Well, first of all, we want to make sure that it's stabilizing us. All right, now a lot of people want to work at doing this movement. They work at the acceleration part of the movement and they're concerned about that. What I want you to do is you can accelerate up and hold it and make that trunk have to learn how to stabilize you, decelerate you, then take it back out, then decelerate you, decelerate you. Don't let yourself go pull that way. Control, control. Here's a better example. I'm going to prevent extension. I want to decelerate myself back. I can come out fast if I want, but as I'm coming overhead, I'm decelerating. Now I'm using a low level band. Uh, now here's where the resistance of the band can really become a player. I can make it let me go faster. The band can accelerate me back. So now I am learning how to handle accelerated eccentrics or accelerated deceleration. So I can go ahead and do that so many ways. So go ahead and start focusing your app training on slowing down the return motion, not just worrying about the acceleration part. Matter of fact, I wouldn't even worry about the acceleration part. I would go ahead, lock myself out, and worry about decelerate, come back out. Decelerate, come back out. Decelerate, come back out. That's what I'd worry about. And I'd get those trunk muscles to really teach me how to slow me down so that I can't go into aggressive extension, aggressive rotation, aggressive side bending. I want to make sure that it learns how to slow down so this guy right here, my low back, stays safe all the time. Start thinking of your ab training differently. Think of it as stabilization. Think of it as a decelerator of movement, not an accelerator of movement. I think you'll have better results.